Today I'm going to be making a perfect poached egg. What we need is some water, and the water in your pot, you want it high enough so that when you drop your egg in, it's not actually going to touch the bottom of the pot. So, you know, I've got mine about halfway up, which is perfect. You don't want your water boiling, just at a simmer like I have it here. I'm going to grab my egg, and I'm going to crack it into a bowl. I'm going to grab my whisk, and I'm going to start whisking this around. I want this water to really start moving. And when I drop my egg in, I want to drop it so that it's going the same way as the water. So I'm going to get this going just like this, and then I'm going to pop it in just like that, and you just let it go around. I'm going to increase my heat just a little bit here. And what this is going to do is help pull all of that egg white in towards the egg. If you find that your water is slowing down, you may also just take your whisk or a spoon and just continue to give it a little bit of a stir if you wish, that's optional, just like that. And you can see that it's pulling everything together. And at this point, you just want to let this go for a few minutes. And what's really nice about this egg is that it doesn't do very quickly, so you don't have to worry about it really being overdone. As long as your water's not boiling, you'll have a perfect egg all the time. So you just want to watch it for a while. See, at this point right now, there's no point in actually stirring it anymore because all of that egg white that's going to stick to the actual egg has done so. And you can go in there at this point and you can remove some of the egg white that's just floating around, if you wish. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to let that go for a little while. And then you can pull it out and then you can just tap it. My egg is very, very loose right now, so I know this is not ready. I'm going to let that go for about another minute. Now, in the restaurant, what they'll do is they'll actually do this process and then they will take them out and they'll put them into ice water just so that they cool down very, very quickly and that the yolk does not continue to cook. Then, when somebody orders a poached egg, they simply take the egg and they drop it back into boiling water for about 20 seconds or so, 30 seconds maximum, and then you pull it out and it's still perfect. So I'm just going to let that go a little while longer. I've got a piece of toast already ready to go. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm just going to push it down. I'm just going to make a little indentation in the middle here so that the egg actually sits in the toast. Of course you can butter your toast as well. I'm not doing that today. And then just pull it out and just let it drain. Give it a little touch, and you can still feel that it's perfect. We'll bring that out. There we go. And then, we'll cut into it. Let's bring that here. I'll just zoom in. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. And, let's cut in, and I'll show you a perfect poached egg. And there we go. So there we have it, my perfect poached egg. I hope you enjoyed this really fast video and I'll see you next time.